Do you know people who are so positive all the time, no matter what is happening in their lives, no matter what is happening in other people's lives, that it almost feels fake? Well, there's actually a term for that and it's called toxic positivity. So in this video, I'm gonna explain what it is, why you should avoid it, and some examples of toxic positivity statements and what to say instead. You may be well-meaning with friends and even with yourself, trying to be positive all the time. So what is toxic positivity? It's this desire to stay upbeat and to only say upbeat things no matter what the circumstances are, either for yourself or for another person. Here's four reasons why toxic positivity is bad. First of all, we can't put a positive spin on everything. It's just not realistic. It's true, most of our problems are first world problems. However, there's still days when we are not having good days. There's still days when we and other people are going through difficult things. And to appear like every day is rainbows and unicorns is just not realistic. Second, when you think about it, toxic positivity is dismissive. Basically, when you are saying false positive things about yourself or false positive things about another person, then you're dismissing the emotions and you're dismissing the reality. Basically, you're saying, I don't want to hear this. We want to look at it in a positive light. Number three, when you're expressing toxic positivity to another person, it makes them then start to question their own reality, thinking, oh my gosh, why do I feel so bad if things are really supposed to be positive? And it starts making them question themselves. Am I really a negative person? Am I seeing things different than they really are? In a way, toxic positivity can really be a form of gaslighting, which is when you cause another person to start questioning their own reality. And the fourth reason why you should avoid toxic positivity is because it's really the opposite of empathy. And we feel most connected with others when we feel like they are empathetic towards us, meaning they will try to see our viewpoint. They'll try to take the time and come into our world and, and try to understand the things that we're going through. Here's some examples of some toxic positivity statements. Things such as, oh, look on the bright side, or good vibes only, cheer up, it's not that bad, just decide that you're going to have a good attitude. It's all good, just think positive. Have you ever said these statements to somebody when they are not going through something positive? I know I have and I've been well-meaning about it. However, now I'm realizing that those statements are not showing empathy. So here's some statements that you can give that do show empathy. Things like, thank you for sharing this with me. Or would you like to talk about it more? Or how can I help? I can't imagine what you're going through. Thank you for confiding in me about this. This has to be difficult. And sometimes you just need to be quiet and listen. I think a lot of times well-meaning friends and family are trying to put a positive spin on things because they think it really will help us to feel better. But in reality, just being there and having an empathetic friend, an empathetic listening ear is the best thing that you can do. Have you encountered toxic positivity in your life and how did you respond to it? Please share your comments below so that we can all learn from each other. Thanks for watching.